Welcome back, Pokey Trainers. It's your boy Tim here, and we are here at the Pewter City Gym, about to take on the only guy who has never opened his eyes in over 20 years, the gym leader Brock. Picking up from the last episode, we are here in the gym, and I must say that it looks awesome. They did a wonderful job paying attention to detail. I love that there's like a viewing gallery up there and people up there who are able to look down on the fight. We still have our same main two trainers who's sitting here in the Pewter City Gym and as the additional mechanic here in Pokemon to give us a little something extra as I talked about in the last video is the you have to have something for every gym in order to fight. So here you have to show that you have a um, grass type Pokemon or a water type Pokemon before you're able to take on the gym leader and we're going to now do exactly that so as you know this is a rock gym so we're expecting a lot of geo dudes uh, we know that Brock should definitely have his onyx and geo dude so and one thing that you do have to remember geo dude is uh, geo dude has self-destruct but I don't think at this yeah, at that level that they're having. So as you see, she threw out her Geodude, and um, this is not a good matchup. So I'm going to switch out to Bulbasaur. And I actually should have put Bulbasaur at the beginning of my uh, team, but it just didn't cross my mind at this time. So let's change to Bulbasaur, who's at level seven. Um, and so Bulbasaur only has Fine Whip. Um, and one thing that's definitely gonna be really helpful if we're able to suck out some nutrients from this rock so I'm definitely looking to level up with these next two fights um, so I'm gonna pull off the vine whip here um, it's super effective a uh, geodude is gonna hit tackle and I'm gonna use vine whip again and destroy this geodude um, she only has one geodude so I'm expecting to win this pretty easily and let's just go on to the next trainer before we face off against the all not seen Brock. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah. Uh, I was talking too much. Um, concentrate, concentrate what I was doing. Oh, Vine Whip, and we're gonna take out Geodude. Okay, so very effective. Geodude has been taken down for the count, and Bobasaur has gained 35 XP. Um, Pikachu, Elena has grown to level 15, learned Thunder Wave. Yes, I definitely do want the Thunder Wave. Uh, it's a great addition to stalling Pokemon. So here with Pikachu, I was trying to make sure that I kept a fighting move for the normal type Pokemon. Uh, so that's why I kept Double Tick, uh, Double Kick, and then Thunder Wave is an awesome addition. So our challenger has been defeated, and we are now ready to take on the next picnicker because i think that's what these are called yeah i think they are they're they are the picnickers and i don't think i need to heal up so maybe i do maybe no because it was just bulbasaur so let's do this um is that right there kid a thousand light years away from brock really uh obviously you don't know about types and you didn't see this bulbasaur so lamb um, we're gonna teach you a thing or two because you have a Geodude too. And I bet you this Geodude is like six or seven. Seven. So we're gonna switch out and we're going to. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me go back. Because I don't want to use Pikachu. So, Pikachu, come on back here. We're gonna send out our Bulbasaur because we really need Bulbasaur to level up and get the next move okay so we're sitting out our bubble sword geodude is going to use defensive curl but it's not going to be enough against the effective grass type move the fine whip okay so we're going to use fine whip and as we saw last time it's not going to kill it completely but it did do enough damage for me to finish it off this next round and so with the damage that it's doing to me i'm definitely going to have to go back to the pokemon center um, to heal and Geodude is taken out our picnic is here is not Very happy at all because clearly he thought that I was light years away from Brock. So Bulbasaur grew to level 8 which I was expecting um, Yes, Pikachu also got some XP too. Lamb is definitely defeated. It's a measure of distance, right? 
and our Bulbasaur should be learning a new move, huh? Or maybe not. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. So while I was out, I ran and leveled up Bulbasaur a little bit. Um, we also made sure we stopped by the Pokemon Center. Um, so you're here, you're sitting at the gym, just looking at the Pokemon and my real power. Pokemon is a rock card, grit, determination. My Pokemon are all rock types. Are you going to challenge even me? They're going to the train us on a bit. Show me your best. So I am ready to see. So Brock is going to have two Pokemon. He's going to have a Geo dude and he's going to have his Onyx. Um, first, he's going to start his Geo dude. I'm looking at like level eight. Eight or nine for a Geo dude. Uh, Pikachu, this is not a good matchup. Oh, level eleven for the Geo dude. So, yeah, this is not a good matchup. So I'm pull out Bulbasaur, who's a little under level, but I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur can definitely handle this on his own. Uh, I just hate that Pikachu is going to get this experience. Uh, so we take the tackle from the geo dude and we have leech seed here which that's what i went out and leveled up to get leech seed so this is definitely a that's with us um without us needing to heal so often and so i'm not going to change pokemon in between because i have leech seed here and geo dude should go down similarly easily so uh we're going to pull off a vine whip here uh and maybe about two of these will defeat geo dude yeah, so one here and take the tackle. We can do that. Um, the leech seed definitely helped out there. Um, super effective. We're going to hit him with another vine whip in this and then we'll be ready for his star. Onyx. Okay, so Geodude has been taken out for the count. And Brock is going to send out Onyx. So. Oh, Bulbasaur leveled up to level 10. We're not going to see any more moves at level 10, but we will see better stats. So he sends out Onyx. I'm not going to switch my Pokemon. We're going to stay right here and look at Onyx. Just huge. So we're going to start with Leech Seed because that's going to be very important because if we didn't, I would be definitely defeated by Onyx. Onyx has Rock Throw, which is gonna do some damage to Bulbasaur but I believe Leech Seed would definitely keep us within the game um, so yeah that Leech Seed definitely helped us out we're going to use a potion to assist us and then that Leech Seed should be able to hold us out through the rest of the match here and so I just hope that Brock doesn't have any type of restore here like that so we're going to take the rock throw and then we're going to hit him with a vine whip and we'll continue to use vine whip until the end of the match expecting to take out onyx use a th th rock throw just keep throwing rocks guess what they say might be true here sticks and stones could definitely break my bones but the words will never hurt me that was corny. <laughs> okay, so as I said, same plan. We're gonna use Vine Whip. We're gonna receive that rock from Onyx. And Onyx is out for the count. Out for the count. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have it here. We have defeated the Pewter City Gym Leader, Onyx. Mew grew to level 15. It seems I un underestimated you. Yes, you did. We're gonna be $1,920 from Brock. As proof of your victory of Pokemon, here's the Bodo badge. Nice animation there with uh, Elena and my Poke Trainer Max there. Uh, we got the TM01 Headbutt from Brock. I'm interested to see if we're able to use Headbutt on trees, which I don't think so. But it will, will be interested to see later. A TM01 Cassandra Headbutt, it deals damage to your opponent by ramming them with that rock hard head. So ladies and gentlemen, there it go. This is the Pewter City Gym. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day here to watch me battle the Pewter City Gym um, and taking on Brock. <sighs> Progress saved. So in the next video, we'll continue where we left off. 
and I want to thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it, and continue to watch me for more Pokemon Let's Go content. See you in the next video.